One thing I wanted to discuss coming out of the game was the the most entertaining, uh, maybe most dramatic point of the game, where you you usually don't see the sort of danger in NFL games uh, anymore, considering how many safety rules are in place. But it was a headshot. It was a headshot. Jonathan Batamosi just crumpling to the ground after being assaulted. I I don't know how he survived after taking a football to the face. I mean. The jack went flying off. He went flying to the ground. I don't know how he survived. It's it's kind of a miracle that he made it through that play alive. Yeah, Johnson Batamosi just walking around the sideline, minding his own business, just uh, taking his time in the cold weather, trying to stay warm. And Robbie Anderson comes out there after an incomplete pass. It spikes the ball into the ground, comes up, and it was like an uppercut right to the face. Right, Bat- right under the, ch- the face mask. Right under the face mask. Batamosi, Johnson Batamosi just takes the, the ball there. And, you know, it hit him at first. And, you know, Hits he... Him. He's- comes back down, it pauses and goes, ah! he throws the jacket back, and so um, the, the jacket went flying. He actually had to loose his arms from the sleeves to get out of the jacket to really add the effect, so he had to do a full-on motion to get out of it and then dive backward. Um, it didn't get called the penalty, but um, as Eric Rowe said after the game, you know, it's a penalty if uh, you spike the ball in someone's direction. I think that's more along the lines of uh, if you spike the ball in someone's direction as like a taunting thing, but this was more of a frustration thing, so I think that's why it wasn't called. But, man, Batamosi, that was a, an incredible acting job. I talked to a bunch of guys after the game about it, and they were all cracking up. Oh, <laughs> flop of the year! <laughs> flop of the year, man! Uh, Pat Chung said he deserved an Oscar. Uh, jo- um, Jonathan Jones said Batamosi needs to take acting classes next year. Um, J- Jordan Richards played with him in college, and he's like, yeah, I'm not surprised. This is what, what Batamosi does. And it was funny because you, you walk in the locker room afterward, and all the defensive backs are crowded around the phone watching the video of the play. <laughs> And they're all dying. Batamosi like runs to his locker and he's cracking up. And then he, he comes back out and he starts talking to um, uh, WBZ and uh, he's telling the whole story. He's like, "Man, like I got hit with it and I just I just lost my balance, you know." But no, it was an amazing acting job. All the guys in the locker got a kick out of it. He was really trying to make his case. Like, no, no, no. What you got? To he was like really trying to sell it. Yeah. No one was buying it, but he was trying to sell it. Absolutely. It was it was a hilarious play. And it was funny to see them all admit that it was a flop. You know, you don't always see that i mean uh for a lot of times you'll be like oh no like it it hit me and i just fell but no he he knew it was a flop he knew he was joking around everyone was cracking up in the locker room it's a really fun week 17 atmosphere because the patriots got a win they know they're on first round by um they know the playoffs are coming up so they were pretty loose in the locker room you don't always see that from the patriots after a win it was it was a funny moment and it was nice to see